so it's been a while again um, that I did not use uh, this Pioneer uh, receiver, my SX838, and I kind of miss my Pioneer, so I decided to film it today, grab it in my garage, and put it back in my music room, and today I'm gonna connect this receiver to this speaker and I want to listen and spend time with this Pioneer because it's been a while that I did not use uh, this uh, receiver and uh, today I bought a cable wire let's turn it turn this around I bought a audio speaker wire yeah I want to show you guys this uh, heavy, heavy equipment here. Um, yeah, this uh, this nice looking speaker cable uh, audio cord that I bought this morning, and I'm really amazed um, about this cord because it's uh, it's a nice size um, speaker cord, and I got it for four dollars. And he sold it to me, so I, you know, um, brought it back here um, this morning. And now I wanted to use this speaker wire for this Pioneer uh, uh, receiver. And I have this uh, RCA, yeah, audio uh, cord okay for mp3 and what you need to do with this you just you know you just need to connect this uh very simple but some of you some of, uh some of you guys uh or mo most of you guys knows about how this works and there's a guy that uh, uh leave a comment in my videos and ask me how did you uh, use your cell phone to uh, your receiver so I messaged him back and I said you just need an RCA you know, cord um, you need uh, red and white audio um, going in to your receiver and to your cell phone that had phone adapter so hopefully yeah he uh, followed me and uh, he will you know um, do it but this thing will goes to either the phono one phono two so all you need to do is plug this here yep right there and that's pretty much it and uh, you need antenna for the radio and I'm gonna you know um, test this uh, pioneer again and test this speaker here yeah because I miss listening to this beautiful uh, Pioneer uh, that I bought a while ago and it's been sitting in the garage and I don't know what I'm gonna do with some of my uh, stereos collections because um, I don't you know need it much and I don't use it um, all the time but I'm thinking of uh, maybe you know sell some of my uh, receivers and amplifiers even up here i have a sansui and this uh Marantz, you know and while i'm doing this i'm just you know having a nice red wine here yeah this is good and i don't know yet what i'm gonna do because like I said, you know, in a long period of time, your time um, changed. Your time, you know, is different. And as we get older, the time, it's kind of like getting smaller. And, you know, when you have a lot of things that you don't need, you kind of start like getting, you know, 
to get uh you know get your attention like do i really need all this and what i'm gonna what i'm gonna do with this do i need to sell it you know do i need to keep it so um not really sure yet what i'm gonna do with my but first let me turn off this morens okay let's borrow this uh the cell phone here and we're gonna use this for uh, oh wait a minute because i think i plugged the, i plugged the this one in the wrong uh, it's supposed to go to the audio which is the aux so i had to find the aux yeah the aux uh, it's gotta be here it's right here on the third one yep so plug this here on the aux sorry about that i plug it into the the phone one which is that's for the turntable and <clears throat> it's not gonna play if you know i plug this in. okay so this is what we're gonna do and we're gonna plug this uh, this uh, audio okay let's find this right here and let's plug this here okay it's all simple very simple so you just plug that and then let's find some uh, jazz okay yep we're gonna find some some good music so we can listen to this uh, let's try this japanese guy from kuro toshiro okay hiroshi suzuki all right so let's find this uh okay and let's make sure the volume the volume is down because if it's not then that is gonna blast and then so that's going to the aux and then we're gonna have to put it in aux which is there okay so i have to find the there it is so what we're gonna do guys we're gonna play uh, we're gonna turn the volume up and the sound of the speakers is not one of the greatest i mean it depends what kind of what kind of uh what do you call this what kind of um, receiver you're using for this uh, speaker because this speaker is it's like a, <clears throat> a monitor um for like recording or you know um, one of those um, um booth that you know you put one on the left you put one on the right on the corners and that's how uh the speakers um, works so there is something i'm not sure what it is so i gotta find i gotta find really which one is okay yeah but this receiver guys this pioneer it's a very good uh, receiver and it can deliver a good sound. Um, the bigger speaker you use, the bigger the better. And definitely I'm going to use some other speakers. Um, probably uh, that speaker. So I'm going to use that for this. And we're going to listen to the sound of uh, this uh, speaker. So hang on tight, guys. And I'm going to grab that speaker and connect it to this Pioneer. So I connect the speakers from left and then one on the right. And now it's set up and I'm just listening to the sound. Victim, a dedicated US-based restoration specialist will work to fix it. Join now and save up to 25% your first. So this Pioneer has a beautiful sound and 
can't complain. It's a nice uh, uh, receiver. Uh, this is made in Japan. And the pier, I have the Sansui and my turntable. Another Morantz. And I'm gonna listen to this Pioneer um, for now until, you know, I want to film another video from another, um, from a different receiver. And we'll see how long I'm going to, you know, enjoy this uh, Pioneer. But it has, it has, a, it has a beautiful sound. It has a beautiful sound. Very nice, very nice. Um, it's kind of looked like this Pioneer, kind of looked like the Sansui 9090. It's just the difference here is this. Kind of the size and the setup is just a little difference though. I mean, this uh, biometers, yeah, this biometers, it's in the middle here. And the knobs um, from the D9, from the 9090, yeah. Um, Sansui. Um, I can't really um, tell the difference, but all I know is the knobs from Sansui's are very different from uh, uh, Pioneer, and the size, the 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 looks of the Sansui, you know, um, it's just different. But um, this Pioneer will deliver a good sound and uh, I will definitely enjoy listening to my turntable. Contractually guaranteed. And the best part, you will lose the weight and keep it off the natural way. NJ Dye uses your hair, saliva, and blood work along with scans to personalize natural solutions and supplements. So this Pioneer has a big sounds. Um, you can really tell by looking at the size of this uh, Pioneer and the width and the length and the height compared to my Sansui, this thing can deliver a really, really good sounds. So, but I really, I really want the, I really want the Sansui uh, 9090 for sure. Um, it's just very expensive. Um, it's like a thousand dollars and it's way, way, you know, um, way up there. And I don't think I want to spend a thousand dollars for uh, that Sansui 9090. But if I see something like a couple hundreds, you know, um, in Facebook, uh, you know, uh, market, yeah, or um, let no, not let go. Um, what do you call this? Um, offer up, then probably I will buy it. You know, if it's three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, I think that's a good uh, price for that D uh, the D ninety. Um, the sorry, the ninety ninety, and that would you know that would be a good score. But uh, even four hundred dollars, guys, I'm a little you know um, optimistic because. Uh, it's kind of still pricey, but um, the size of the Sansui 99 is just huge and has a beautiful looks and sounds. And that vintage Sansui uh, receiver, it's just amazing. I mean, I really want one, but I just don't want to spend like a thousand dollars for that. I don't see myself uh, spending for that. Uh, receiver for a thousand dollars um the other thing guys is because sometimes you know it's not easy to sell this and it takes time um the only thing you will sell it quick um if you lower the price yeah for example the sansui 9090 if you bought it you pay a thousand dollars if you sell it maybe seven hundred dollars and then somebody will um take that bait because somebody will take that price because you, you know there's three hundred dollars discount but if you want to sell it like thousand dollars or you make want to make a profit then 
let's say you you bought it for a thousand then you want to sell it for 1200 because you want to get another 200 dollars profit then it that takes a long time to sell you know i mean unless you're lucky that somebody you know doesn't know or doesn't care about the price then you know um we'll buy it right away but if i'm gonna buy a sansui 99 for a thousand dollars you know uh, i'd rather just hold on to it and wait and be patient maybe one day i can definitely see a good sansui 99 for a good price so um this pioneer i'm okay with this right now this moment i do have a lot of stereo receivers and amplifiers and i enjoy i enjoy listening to um all my stereo receivers and you know i can't just you know um luckily guys i my my addiction to to these uh, receivers um, vintage stereos um, has stopped really 95 percent um, i used to buy and buy and buy and then i got fed up you know because it's piling up piling up in my garage and in my music room and then i decided to just let it go and start selling it so i sold like maybe more than 20 pieces already um i i don't need i don't even remember i i lost count but i i got fed up with it and then i said i gotta sell some of this because you know it's getting really uh crazy and it's accumulating in the garage and it's eating a lot of space so it's good to buy stereo receivers and you know you gotta you know buy it and sell it you know i mean if you want to collect the stereos um make sure that you know you, you sell it eventually because um it's just not easy to let go other you know um other things that you know you don't um, really need in the end and then you know you, you turn 70 75 years of age then i don't think you can lift still um you can lift the stereo receivers because they are heavy some of these stereo receivers are heavy and you know luxman is very heavy and my techniques um receiver is very heavy so i don't think when you retire i don't think you can still carry this because you're gonna you're gonna break your back carrying this um heavy um receivers so um as of now it's good you know i'm okay i'm fine I, I can lift this and no problem for now um you know i'm just way far from retirement so yeah way far from retiring and you know i can still buy and sell some of the stereos and um what i noticed guys in the flea market recently i went there and went there and went there and i don't really see a lot of vintage uh, stereos receiver anymore and i have no idea why you know i think some people start noticing it that you can sell this stereo receivers in ebay and you can make more money or facebook market um i went to facebook market guys i've seen a lot of this uh stereo receivers and different types of vintage stereo receivers now they're selling in in uh, uh, facebook market um offer up um it's n i would say n not a lot you know but in facebook market there's so many vintage stereos turntables speakers equalizers receivers amplifiers subwoofers you name it and that's how they they you know they start selling there and that's how people are um you know um, are doing now yeah because they can make profit and they don't have to pay shipping and handling they don't have to pack it up they don't have to go to the usps they don't have to ship it so you meet the buyer um, halfway or he can come by I'll drop by to your place and then check the stereo receivers or whatever it is and then if it works hand you the money and go so no more you know um 
wrapping it up, buying bubble, um, buy boxes, um, buying a lot of peanuts, you know, to spread it around. Those styrofoam peanuts look like, and you know, it costs money. So I think that's one reason why some of these uh, people uh, start selling it on Facebook market because they save a lot of time and they make profit you know so i sold some of the stereos before i sold some of my stereos before in in, in offer up and facebook market you know so i made some profit you know um if i wanted very easy guys to sell in in facebook market you just gotta take a picture then you open an account and then you know load your pictures and write the descriptions and the price and whatever all the information that they need and you are good to go you know so it's not ebay that you gotta pay that is why i think that's why a lot of people are selling now in in uh, e uh, facebook market because you don't have to pay shipping handling i mean you don't have to um wrap it up and you know um put in the box and you got to buy the tape and wrap it all around and you know too much work i guess so um i think uh yeah that, that's one reason why the 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 what do you call this um the the time that they saved from doing all that like selling in, in ebay and then if they return if the buyer return the the stereo receiver um to the seller and then there's another problem, you know. Now they have to deal with the eBay company, and then now, you know. So it's it's just a hustle, you know. So um, I think that's why a lot of people now are selling in the Facebook Market because I've seen a lot of vintage stereos and other stuff. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, um, this is my pioneer. This is my Pioneer, and uh, I love the the sound of this and the looks. Yeah, it's amazing. So, another video here, guys, from this beautiful, beautiful Pioneer and my setup here from Rance, Sansui, and Pioneer and my turntable. So, guys, if you did not click the subscribers yet, please do and i really appreciate that for doing that and i uh, will yeah see you again next time when i have a new video so another setup here from this beautiful pioneer and that's it guys so for now i'll say sayonara <laughs>